Spain is home to a large mix of amusement parks. You have some smaller family parks, along with a few large parks like Port Aventura and Parque Warner Madrid. As a result, the country has an interesting mix of roller coasters. In this video, I will rate my top 10 coasters that I have personally ridden in all of Spain. Number 10. Stuntfall at Parque Warner Madrid One of the few Vacoma giant inverted boomerangs ever built, Stuntfall is an intense first drop. There's something terrifying staring straight down at the ground, nearly 200 feet in the air, and you get a true freefall sensation on the drop. It felt like a more intense version of Falcon's Fury. That's followed by a moderately snappy cobra roll and a mildly floaty loop. You then repeat this course in reverse. This is significantly better than the traditional boomerangs because it's considerably more intense, and most amazingly, it's a much smoother ride. I still hit my head a few times because of the oversized restraints, but it's not brutal like some of Acoma's other coasters. Number 9, Tornado at Parque de Atracciones de Madrid. One of the rare intimate inverts, Tornado rides somewhere in between a B&M invert and an SLC. It's not glass smooth, but there's only light head banging as opposed to the concussive blast you get on a Vacoma SLC. Tornado requires a full train to be dispatched, and I could see why because the coaster doesn't hold its speed well in between elements. However, both vertical loops are decently forceful, and the snappy corkscrew of the midway is easily the highlight. I loved that inversion. Number 8, Tarantula Parque de Atracciones de Madrid. This is a very bizarre spinning coaster. While most focus on twists and turns, Tarantula is located on a hillside and has a series of larger drops. The positive here is that these drops are quite thrilling, especially if you're going down them backwards. On the downside, the cars don't have as much of an opportunity to get spinning. Number 7, Superman La Atraccion de Acero at Parque Warner Madrid. Superman should be one of the best B&M floorless coasters. It has great height at 164 feet or 50 meters, and it has 7 inversions. However, the inversions are quite forceless and the ride has a nasty rattle. However, the ride is redeemed by the drops. This coaster gives some great airtime on the drops and camelback. Those elements feel more like a B&M Hyper than a B&M Looper. I'm just hoping I got a bad ride on Superman, but this is where it ranks based on my experience. Number 6. Furious Baco at Port Aventura This is a very hard coaster to rank as there's a major difference between the front row and any other seat and the issue is exasperated by the fact you cannot choose your own row. The staff is very strict about assigning rows on Furious Baco. Up front, Furious Baco is quite smooth. However, the low of the ground turns are really uncomfortable in any other seat. And it's a shame because Furious Baco has a powerful launch that's just a hair less powerful than the other hydraulic launch coasters. And I love the sustained air time on the hump after the launch and the hang time on the barrel roll. If I could get the front every time, Furious Baco would have placed 4th in this list, but in any other seat, Furious Baco is close to the bottom of this list, so I averaged it out. Number 5, Abismo a Parque de Atracciones de Madrid. I love everything until the end of Abismo. The inverted chain lift is freaky and offers some scary hang time. The falling barrel roll and sky drop offer a unique combination of hang time and whip. You then have a gray out inducing overbank a camelback with great sustained ejector airtime, and one last floater hill into the station. However, this ride's Achilles heel is the gut-punching stop in the final lift, brought on by the awful restraints. The lap bars in Abysmo actually rest in your stomach, and after they tighten during the ride, the abrupt stop in the vertical lift will crush your stomach. I spend the whole ride dreading this moment, which is a shame because everything else is great. Number 4. Batman Arkham Asylum at Parque Warner Madrid. I don't care that this is a clone. The B&M Batman clones are smooth and intense rides, and the one at Parque Warner Madrid is among the best. This one had a better themed queue line than the American counterparts, and that's no small feat because the Batman and the Ride clones actually have a decently themed queue line. Plus, this one does not have a hint of head banging, it is aged very well. It's just a very forceful coaster that caused me to gray out in the vertical loops and the snappy second half was absolutely leg-numbing. Number 3, Dragon Con at Port Aventura. Often called Spanish Kumba, it's not hard to see why. Dragon Con has a very similar layout to Kumba with a few exceptions. Rather than having a curved drop, Dragon Con has a straight drop, but unfortunately it doesn't offer any airtime. It then follows an identical sequence of inversions, 
except there's a second vertical loop after the Cobra roll. All of Dragon Con's inversions are forceful and snappy, only feeling a pinch less intense than those on Kumba. And there's only a tiny bit of headbanging on a few of the transitions. But I do prefer Kumba overall primarily for the setting. Dragon Con is plopped down an empty field while Kumba is landscaped beautifully around it. On Kumba, it feels like you're in the jungle. Number 2, Red Force at Ferrari Land. This may be an unpopular opinion, but I think Red Force is better than Top Thrill Dragster or King Dakka. Yes, the magnetic launch in Red Force doesn't have the same initial kick as the hydraulic launches. However, once the ride starts accelerating, the sense of speed makes the launch feel just as intense because the blast of wind at 112 miles per hour or 180 kilometers per hour is breathtaking. But Red Force has three improvements over the US Stratocoasters. One, the ascent over the top hat gives stronger floater airtime, presumably because the magnetic launch is much more consistent. Two, the drop only has a 90 degree twist as opposed to the 270 degree twist. This means you straighten out sooner and the drop gives some wonderful sustained floater airtime the whole way down. Meanwhile, Dragster or Ka focus more on laterals on the drop. Third, there's a surprise jump into the brake run that gives a quick pop of ejector airtime. That is not present in any of the other giant strata coasters. Red Force is short but oh so sweet. Coming in at number one is Shambhala at Port Aventura. The best coaster in Spain is easily the best B&M hyper coaster on the planet. The ride is the complete package. The ride has a beautiful setting along the coast. It's glass smooth and every drop delivers. The airtime is sustained for an extremely long time on the first drop and it feels similar to the B&M Giga drops, which are among the best drops of any coaster. All the camelbacks that follow deliver copious amounts of sustained floater airtime as well and it was accompanied by a stomach dropping sensation that made the airtime even more intense. I'm not sure how Shambhala did it, but my thought is it had something to do with how drawn out the hills are, how you don't slow down over them, and the super long trains. Shambhala is the staggered B style seating like Dimeback or Behemoth, and the resulting whip on the drops is glorious. Shambhala also has a fantastic speed hill, similar to the ones found on Orion or Mako, and no real mid course brake run. The first brake run occurs right before the final brake run, so the pacing isn't ruined halfway through the ride like some of the other BM hypers. This is easily the best paced BM hyper, and combined with that wonderful airtime and setting, Shambhala is one of my favorite coasters in the world. So those are my top 10 coasters in all of Spain. What are your favorite roller coasters in Spain, or thoughts on any of the coasters on this list? I would love to hear your thoughts and comments down below. If you enjoyed this countdown, I'd appreciate if you gave this video a like, and consider subscribing, because there will be a lot more amusement park and roller coaster videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thank you for watching.